So today I want to show you how to create a custom search result template with Elementor Pro. So for example, so I type, let's say, child care and I hit uh, search. So I'm using Astro theme. So this is um, default template if you get Astro theme. So uh, nothing special, you know, this kind of half column and then image and on the right hand side, the title and the expert and some meta field here, right? And uh, so this is okay, um, but I want to get rid of like a sidebar and then um, uh, I like to probably show more uh, content here. And then another part is that if you kind of squeeze here for so res responsive design. So this is okay, but you have to kind of scroll down quite a bit. I don't think I need um, like image. I can get rid of that. So this is what I worked on. So I'll show you um, the difference. So if I if I uh, search for child care, so, you know, just two column, it's more kind of condensed, but this way you can see more results, right? And then when you squeeze uh, for mobile, so I just got rid of all the images and I think this is fine. You know, you can scroll here and also you can try search here again. It says search again um, here too, like if you stretch to uh, desktop view. And then so at the bottom, so I got the um, search box here, saying so search again. So you can type uh, family you know, planning and uh, hit enter. And then user can keep searching, right? So let me show you how I did it. So let's go to a uh, template and then, and then the theme builder. And then I have to create archive. Oh no, sorry, I have to create the search result here. And I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and create from scratch. And at first, I'm gonna add our archive title right here. Okay, and then, so I'm just, uh, and then next, uh, I'm gonna just bring a uh, uh, divider. Here. And then next, I'm going to bring an uh, archive post here. And then just below that. And I'm going to use a classic and then make it to two columns. And then uh, the image position to be on the left hand side. Okay. And so I'm going to just uh, just uh, raise your here. So I'm going to probably bring two. Yeah, just probably like that is good. And image width, I'm going to just bring it to uh, maybe like one third, so maybe 33 ish. Yeah, so that's that's probably okay. All right, and then metadata. So I don't need a comment, maybe just, oops, sorry. Uh, I'm going to just get rid of that comment thing. So just date is okay. And uh, the read more, so I don't think I need that. Um, just keep it simple. And Pizzination is good, like I like that. And then limit five is okay. And then that's all I'm gonna just use that like this, okay. And I can just keep this macro here as a default. And I'm gonna just hit the, go ahead and publish. And this is okay, include search result. All right, so I'm gonna hit save and close. All right, so I'm gonna just uh, style here. This, uh, I think they have uh, this blue here. I'm going to use this and maybe title here too. Contents of title. I'm going to use the same blue. And then does it have to be this gray? So meta field. I'm going to use a darker color. And then the content excerpt. Also, I can use a darker color here. So I think I can increase a little bit of space here like that. All right, so I'm going to hit update. And here I'm going to just give a little bit of space, go to advance. I uh, just uh, select the section, edit section, and then give maybe 45. Yeah, it gives more space here. And then bottom, maybe I can add maybe 150 or so. Yeah, and hit update again. Yeah, so let's take a quick look. Yeah, that looks good. 
All right. Now, so when you squeeze uh, for, yeah, it still looks kind of funny, so I don't like that. Um, for the mobile, so let's go back. And so I'm gonna just uh, duplicate this part, right? And so this is four. The bottom one is for uh, mobile. So I'm gonna select this, and uh, here I'm gonna make it to one column, and then I don't need image here. So just like that. All right. So let's go to keep select here and go to advance, and then go to uh, response. Okay. And uh, here, so this is what I wanna show only for mobile. So I'm gonna just uh, hide on desk desktop and tablet. And on top here, so this section is for only um, tablet and desktop. So go to advance and then responsive. So I'm going to hide on mobile. Okay. And hit update. Now I want to add a search box here. Let's go to uh, search, search form. So I'm going to just bring this, uh, I think, bring this on the bottom here. And then so search. So I'm gonna just uh, type this uh, search again, something like that. And then hit update. All right, so let's try this. Um, go to home page and then go to search box here. So let's say, uh, and then hit enter. Okay, so search result for child care. So that's good and so let's uh, squeeze this and then mobile and that looks good too and uh, here so i like to have a search box actually on top for um for mobile and if you want to add you can just uh, move this down and hide this for uh, mobile okay so i kind of like this so that's a real quick uh, tutorial for how to create custom search result page or archive page with elementor pro so I hope you like it and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.